Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is News for New York. Out of control, kids losing it because they can't stop playing video games. Doctors say the addiction is real. Also ahead, for some kids, it's like a drug. It takes over their lives and they need to get their fix. How can you tell if your child is hooked? What are the signs? And what is it really doing to their minds? Addicted to video games. Coming up next. With video games as popular as ever, doctors say they're starting to see the signs of addiction in young children. And sometimes for parents, it's hard to witness. Tonight, Ida Siegel reports. The kid in this YouTube video was just told by his parents he could no longer play a popular video game called World of Warcraft. And while there's no way to tell if his antics are authentic, clinical psychologist Dr. Michael Fraser says this is the kind of behavior he sees in patients who are addicted to video games. Tantrums where, again, children will make threats to hurt themselves. Uh, they will destroy property in the house. They'll break things. It is a growing problem. Children who play for hours and hours on end and become obsessed. 13-year-old Vincent says he was addicted and had to cut himself off. Sometimes I wouldn't do my homework and sometimes I, I wouldn't hang out with my friends visit this game and that's all I would think about. And sometimes it even gave me nightmares because it was a zombie game. And we need to recognize how well or not well they're conducting normal lives. Do they have real life friends? What are their grades like? What are the schools saying? And do they actually communicate with others once in a while without headphones? <laughs> So if, as a parent, you suspect that your child might be addicted or really is just playing more than you'd like, a good option is to get in there and play with them because that way you know exactly what they're doing in these games, how long they're playing, and you can be the one to shut it off when the game really is over. So we've set the family timer. Xbox has another tool for parents. Perry Aftab helped Microsoft develop a feature that allows parents to set a game timer and control content. So if the parent says they want the kids to play, say, two hours a week, the game will automatically turn off when time is up. Parents need to be strict about limits. But in more severe cases, when a child loses control, it's time to talk to a doctor. A lot of times it's a means of escaping something that's stressful or depressing or anxiety provoking. Dr. Fraser says it's not an all or nothing thing. As with anything, balance is the key. Three or four or more hours a day might be a bit too much. Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.